assalamu alaikum today we will discuss why a fish stop eating what are the reasons behind it and what are the solutions when fish stop eating actually fish like other pets and animals need to eat every day if your fish refuse to eat its food out of the blue that is a clue for trouble you should start inspecting its environment to discover the problem there could be many reason when a fish stop eating the first reason is bad water parameter fish actually is sensitive creature that sense changes in the environment pretty quickly sudden fluctuations in ph hardness carbon dioxide can make the fish stop eating if not discovered and treated a serious ph imbalance can kill your fish that's why it is very very important to check the water parameters with a test kit regularly whoever some changes in the water can take place over a prolonged period fish urine contains ammonia and what are the reasons why the ammonia is present in your aquarium or in your tank actually decaying object like plant leaves left over food can release great amount of ammonia nitrate nitrite in the tank if these chemicals are allowed to build in the tank the fish will get more and more uncomfortable and they may stop eating sometimes it's just a matter of dirty water dirt and debris can make your water look cloudy and irritate your fish then what steps you have to do to keep all these water quality parameters to maintain how you can maintain the first step you must replace 10 to 15% of aquarium or tank water with fresh water every day also test the water frequently and install a filter if you don't have one yet remove dead and decaying object as soon as you see them and do not leave uneaten food in the tank after feeding the fish quickly uh, or after half or uh, 30 or a uh, one hour remove the uneaten food from the tank if you discover an ammonia spike in your tank keep changing larger portion of the water until everything goes back to normal and your fish stop eating the second reason when a fish stop eating is improper food or overfeeding actually uh, fresh water fish or salt water fish have different diets and need different nutrients as we uh, have described as i have discussed earlier about uh, the feeding habitat of the fish every fish have different feeding habits like carnivore fish herbivore fish omnivore fish so uh, you cannot give a single type of food to every fish species make sure you are giving your fish the right food and balance their nutrition second you should see if the food is gone bad check the expiration date and if it has passed throw it away sometimes pellets and flakes go bad sooner than expected because you are not stored in the right container or at the right temperature if you open the container daily you are exposing all the food to oxygen and moisture the food will lose its nutrients before the expiration date it will also lose its state taste and fish will not eat and if you keep your food in the damp or warm environment like uh, above the tank and the food will rot faster and the fish will not take this food maybe your fish are tired of food you are giving them regularly 
based on your fish species you should plan a nutrition diet with a variety of food if your fish is carnivore include live frozen or freeze dried food in the in its diet actually uh, not every day but a couple of times in a week do not just give fish a flakes or plate every day if your fish is herbivore include vegetables and aquatic plant it make might like if you are trying to give your fish a new type of food they are refusing to eat it you should not give up do not let them starve either go back to their favorite food and try again after a few days the third reason when a fish stop eating is stress actually if your fish is a new to the tank it may be scared by a new environment and it may refuse to eat is normal it is normal in this situation when you uh, bring a new fish in tank its environment is new so it may stop feeding for one or two days or maybe for one week it should start eating after it's gotten used to its new home sometimes a newcomer can stress out the old one but they will also get used to their new friend if it's peaceful lack of hiding place in the another potential source of the stress fish actually need spots like caves decorations dense vegetations to hide in and sleep peacefully moving around the decorations and plant may stress out some species this is uncomfortable and understandable since you are changing their comfort zone when cleaning the tank do not remove all the decorations at once and avoid moving them too much you should look out for external factor that may freak out your fish for example loud noise noises from the tv or loud music can disturb them maybe even your shadow cast on the tank when you are trying to feed your fish and it scares them away a crowded tank can also contribute to stress among fish not only will the aquarium need more maintenance but also your fish will not relax and eat their food in the peace in these circumstances you should consider the full grown size of your fish when purchasing and stocking an aquarium plus if you house small fish with big ones with aggressive varieties some fish will get bulled when it's feeding time as your fish grow they will get more territorial especially males the bigger and more aggressive ones will compete for food and even chase or harm the smaller one therefore smaller fish will not come around to eat any more because they want to avoid getting bulled in this situation you will have to provide more food to reduce competition if the problem persisted split the fish in two separate tanks one of one for the sile ones and other other for for bullies the fourth reason when a fish stop eating is improper lightening actually the fish days start when you turn on the lights and they know it's time for sleep when you turn off if a fluorescent tube of a light bulb break or melt your fish will get confused or may stop eating also beneficial bacteria grow in the aquarium providing essential nutrients for the fish these bacteria are affected by light and need a specific type of light to grow and thrive especially in reef aquarium some reef fishes have bolder and brighter colors well that's not for true color made by skin pigment those are actually beneficial bacteria which live on their bodies and provide nutrient they have an important relationship that benefit both of both of them if a bacteria 
will not get proper light your fish will feel sick and stop eating this is why you should install the light right lighting system for your tank to provide specific light spectrum for the bacterial survival the fifth reason when a fish can stop eating is illness actually different health issues can kill your fish appetite for example dropsy is a fatal illness caused by a poor water quality stress or low quality food this fish abdomen will swell causing its scale to stick out and it will also stop eating another common illness is fin or tail rot where the fish tail or fin become out this will cause the fish to stop eating and stay at the bottom poor water quality can uh, cause a major illness loss of appetite difficulty in swimming and floating to their surface are the symptoms many other illness can cause your fish to lose its appetite become sluggish hide or lie at the bottom of the tank sometimes these symptoms are simply due to old age it's an idea to quarantine the fish with signs of sickness and bring it to vet up for the treatment the reasons for the illness could be any bacterial viral fungal protozoans crustacean disorder if you will find your fish any disorder you have to remove that fish from the aquarium so that other fishes could not get that infection there are some question, questions that are frequently asked uh, the first question is what do you do if your fish is not eating as uh, we have discussed earlier if your fish is not eating first check the food and see if it's past the expiration date then try to give your fish its favorite meal secondly ensure the ph hardness carbon dioxide phosphate all these reasons could be these are the major reasons when a fish could be stop eating then um, it could be any reason that we have discussed earlier like uh, poor water quality maybe the fish is in stress condition maybe there is some uh, uh, illness or diseases that uh, the fish um, uh, encouraged uh, the fish to stop uh, eating actually uh, uh, the major reason when a fish uh, will not eat food is uh, you are giving your fish feed at wrong time maybe your fish uh, the best time for feeding is at the uh, morning or at night this timing is very very important to feed the fish make sure you are feeding your fish at right timing secondly the second question is how do i know if my fish is starving to know if a fish is starving monitor its behavior some fish make it very obvious that they are hungry by swimming near the glass repeatedly looking at their owner some fishes may dig around the substrate for food your fish may start acting aggressively toward other fishes when it's hungry you may even notice that your fish has lost weight the third question is how long can fish go without feeding actually almost all the fish can go for two or three days without eating the bigger fish the longer it can withstand food deprivation sometimes fish can survive for up to 2 weeks without eating but you should not starve your fish that long if your fish is not eating find out why and solve the problem so your fish will not become weak the last question is 
Why is my fish spitting out its food? Actually, uh, many reasons, and the most common reason may be fish can uh, the food is not properly stored in right container. When you keep the food in humid place and open the container every day, the feed will expose to oxygen and it will rot. Then you have to keep the food in air sealed container or Ziploc bags and put it in dry place to keep the nutrient and waste in locked. If your fish is not eating, there could be uh, many reasons that we have discussed. So when you find any of these reasons, uh, follow all the parameters that we have discussed. Hopefully, the fish will start eating.